Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to build CSS animation using SVG images. I will also show you some tricks so that you can animate every object of your SVG images. Let me show you the demo that we are going to build in this video. So this is the SVG image that we are using. You will see that some objects of the SVG image are having animation like the giant wheel, the cabins, trees, the balloon seller. But before we go further, make sure that you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing we need is the SVG image that we are going to use in this project. So you can download SVG image from a very good website called Undraw. So let me show you the website. So this is the website, the Undraw, and here you will find very cool SVG images for free, which you can use it in your projects. So what I did, uh, I actually downloaded this one. So you can click on it and you can click download SVG. Once you get the SVG is downloaded on your machine, the next thing what you can do is you need to group some of the objects in this SVG image so that you can animate it. And for grouping that, uh, I am using Figma. So you can go to Google and you can just type Figma. So you will get the first link and you sign up it. It's a very good and very user friendly tool. You don't need to have any additional knowledge of using this tool. So here you will see this uh, kind of a user interface and I will click on the plus icon. So once I click on the plus icon, I am going to drag the image which I have just downloaded it. So this is the image which I have downloaded and I'm just going to drag this image. I can see the image completely here. Now we need to actually group some of the elements. So grouping as in like, let's say if I want to change the color of this. So you can directly click on it and you can go here and you can directly change the colors from here. So let me change it to some green or something. All right, I can change the color. So it is that easy. And what we want to do is we want to animate this giant wheel. So to animate this giant wheel, we need to group all the elements of the giant wheel together. So I will click here and then you can click on shift. Then I will click this also. Then I will select all this axis as well. So once you select all the axis, the next thing what we can do is we can press control G. And when I press the control G, you will see that now the grouping is done and I can actually name this group. So this is the giant will. So I'm going to name it as giant will. All right. So now this giant will, we can use it for the animation when we actually use this SVG in our CSS. Similarly, if, if I want to do this, then I can click here and here together and then I can press control G. And this control G will create an another group and I can give an ID attribute here as trees. All right. And this way you can do all the grouping how you want and what are the objects you want to animate. So I have already done this part what I wanted for the animation for this video. And it looks something like this. And this has some of the animations like it has the balloon man, which is this man who's having the balloon. Then it has the wheel cabins. So all these cabins, then it has the giant wheel and then it has the right tree and it has the left tree. So once you have done all the grouping, now you want to download this SVG. So what you can do, you can simply click on the top name of your image and then you can go on the right hand side. You can select SVG here and then you just need to make sure that you check both the so that we can get the IDs which we have created as a group. And then you just click on the export your image. So once you have export this image, now let's go to the Visual Studio code. All right, so now we are in the Visual Studio code and I have a few stuffs already there. So like the index.html, I have the boilerplate code. I have already linked my CSS file. Then I have my style.css, which has the universal selector as always. And then the body in order to get the SVG image in the center of the screen. Then for the SVG image, which I downloaded from the Figma, 
uh, I have added it here. So if I click it, so this is the SVG image. Uh, I know it's look a little bit ugly and tedious, but yeah, we cannot do anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this SVG image and I'm going to paste it in my body. All right. And once I paste it in my body, then you can see that the groups which we created now are, we can use it them as an ID. So the one group which I created was a balloon. The other group I created as man two. The one other we I created as a balloon man. So in this way, now I can use these IDs and then I can animate those objects in my SVG image. So let's do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the style.css and I'm going to actually let me adjust the screens. All right, so now we have added the SVG image in our index.html. As soon as I add my SVG image and if I run my live server, then you will see that this is how it looks, but it's not animating. Uh, now we need to animate the objects in this SVG image. So what we can do is first we can actually start with the animation of the giant wheel. So in order to animate the giant wheel, we are going to use pure CSS animation, the animation property and the keyframes. So I have the giant wheel. We will take the ID. So let's go here and find the ID of the giant wheel. All right. So this is the ID that we will be using. So I will just copy this. Okay. And we want to do the animation. So I'm going to use the animation property. And let me give a animation name as will. I need to have one second and let's say is in. So, all right. And let's give the keyframes. So we want to rotate this giant wheel. So for that, let me add the keyframes. So I'm going to add the will and from and I'm going to add the two. So I know that I want to rotate it. So for the rotation, I can simply use the transform rotate and I will rotate the Z axis and rotate it to 60 degree. All right. And then let's rotate it to zero degree here. So zero. All right. And now if I save it, it's getting rotated, but not sure where it is getting rotated. But what we can actually do is let's create this to an infinite because we want this to be continuously rotating. So if I rotate it infinite, it is rotating, but it's not rotating. I want the rotation uh, origins to should be at the center. So we can use one property called transform origin. So transform origin should I want it as a center. So now it's actually moving at the center, but we don't want this. The center should get displaced from its original position. So we can actually add one more property called transform box and we can make this transform as fill box so that will actually fill the box and it's going to rotate it so now it's rotating but we want that the rotation should be not too fast so let's make it 12 milliseconds yeah. now it's a little bit better but it's stopping at some between and then so for that i'm just going to change this is into linear so that i have a constant speed of it. So the next thing we can do is we can actually take this cabins and we can actually uh, move the position of this cabin. So when actually a giant will rotates, the cabins also move right and left a little bit. So we can do that. So for that, why I will do, I'm just going to copy this all and I'm going to change the name. So that is the wheel cabins. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add this here, the wheel cabins. All right, and this I can change this to cabins and I will copy this as here cabins and for the cabins what I want, I just want it to be uh, move from its center point to right and towards left. So we can say like a pendulum. So for that, what I will do, I'm going to do for zero and for hundred percent. I just want to rotate it to rotate it to two degrees. Uh, I will just change this to two degrees and for the other one, I want to rotate it to minus two degrees and this at 
So you can also use in the keyframes either to or from or you can also give these values as percentages 0%, 100%, 50%. So now if you see that actually the duration is 12 seconds, we actually reduce this duration so that we can at least see the movement. So if I make this 5 seconds, then you will see that the cabins are now also a little bit moving and I guess we don't want this property and we want the origin to be at the top, not at the center of the movement. So for that, I will just make it to the top. And if I actually reduce this to one, then you will see that they actually moving. But this is not we want. We want that it should move or animate at a very slow speed. So let's make it five seconds. So yeah. So the next thing we can do is we can actually animate the, the trees as well. So for the animation of the trees, uh, what we can do is we can actually copy this whole again. Now this is getting repeated. I mean, you can be more creative. You can uh, animate as much as objects you want, but uh, let, let's just finish it what we have at the moment. So we want the left tree and we also want the right tree. All right. And for the right tree and the left tree, I'm going to give the animation as tree. And let's make it two. We want the linear and this time the trees should the origin should be at the bottom so that the trees can uh, wave on left and right. So I'm going to use the bottom. So I'm going to make this as trees. And let's save it. So, OK, so they are dancing, but I don't want my trees to dance like that. So I need to add the transform box box to be fill box so now actually the trees are also moving a little bit and the last part we can do is we can actually move the balloons and these two guys so for that what we can do is we can take the id of the balloon man and for the balloon man i can actually copy this whole thing again okay and i will just name this as man and he is having a delay of three seconds and I don't want the origin now because I'm going to translate it. So what we can do is we can change this to man and we can do translate. So translate X. I want that it should translate X should be 10 pixel and the other one should be zero so that he can move from his position. All right, so this is moving and let's do the other one as well. So for the other one, I'm just going to copy paste this and this will become the man two. I am not writing to optimize code, but my point here is to show you the how you can do the animation of the SVGs. So uh, I apologize for that, that I'm not writing so optimized code and I'm repeating myself. The only purpose of this video is to show you the animation on the SVGs. So I will change this to man2 and this will become man2. All right. And we just need to make some adjustments to the to the translate. So I'm going to make this translate to minus 20 to 0. All right. So now, yep, both the men's are moving. And the last thing we I want to show you is the movement of the balloons itself. So in order to move the balloons, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this again and let's do the balloon last. So I have the balloons. I'm going to change this to balloon and I'm going to use this balloon here and this should be two second linear gradient. And for the balloon also, I want to wave it from the origin to be bottom. So I'm going to add the transform origin as bottom. All right. So now the next thing we need to do is we have a balloon here. I need to add a balloon here and for the balloon, uh, what I want, I need to transform rotate and I need to rotate it to eight and I'm going to add three degree and I will add here as well the three degree. So this will become minus three and I will do a little bit of scaling of the balloons. So for that, we can actually add a transform scale and I'm going to scale to 
and then here I'm going to make it as one again. All right, but I can see that my balloon is not moving, so I might have made some mistake here. So let me check. Yep, I have misspelled it. So I'm going to add O here. O here. All right, so now we can see that our balloons are also uh, getting animation. So that's all I have. I mean, you can be more creative and if you you can create some very, very nice SVGs uh, animation, then please add in the comment. I would love to see how you add the SVG images and their animations. So I hope you like the video. Please subscribe the channel and like the video because your one like can actually motivate me more to create some more videos. So thank you. Thanks for watching. And you can connect with me via Instagram or Facebook. I will add the links in the description below. And I will also add the link for the code reference uh, in the description so that you can download the code and you can play around it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.